bought an excursion to do here in Juneau. We're actually going to see Mendenhall Glacier and taking a tram ride. Welcome to Nugget Falls. It is so cold standing right here. Pretty awesome. We are on our way up to the Sha'ahid. Sha'ahid is a Tainic word for the mountain house. We are ascending 1,800 feet above sea level on the old aerial tramway in southeast Alaska. Mount Dalton's tramway is owned and operated by Gold Melting, which is a local Alaskan native corporation. One pretty awesome fact about Juneau is you can't get to it by land. You have to either fly in or come in on the water. I'm coming back to the ship a little bit early because the only thing that's left is to do some shopping. Every time we get off and on the ship, we have to go through security. So it's really basic though. We rarely ever set the alarm off. Hey, so the rest of the group is watching some kind of nature talk. I wasn't interested in that, but I'm gonna wait out here on them drinking my iced raspberry cream latte and read a book about Yep. Hi, hi. So it is nine o'clock at night. <laughs> it doesn't look like nine o'clock at all. But I'm on the back of the ship and we're doing some kind of nature watch. I guess there's supposed to be wells or something. And my hair is down from dinner tonight like I wore it down and it's way windy so that's not working out too good but hopefully I can see some wells out here or whatever wildlife we're looking for good morning so we just docked in Ketchikan this is actually our last port city before we start heading home so it's kind of sad but I'm gonna try to do a little souvenir shopping today. Not a whole lot, just like two or three gifts maybe. <laughs> I wish I could buy for everybody, but I can't. There are like three cruise ships in port. So there are a ton of people shopping today. So our group has basically just split up and we're going to the shops we personally want to go to and not trying to stay together as a group. I think some of them are going to be doing an excursion, but I'm just going to stay near the ship and do some shopping. They're also doing road construction. Like, perfect time to do road construction in the middle of tourist season. But, whatever. <laughs> this is our ship, the Westerdam. And then we have another Holland America sister ship. I finally found all the souvenirs I was wanting to buy. All of them, I act like I bought a bunch. I think I bought four people something. And myself, I bought myself something obviously. But I'm gonna go head back on the ship and um, unpack the things I bought and show you guys. I actually bought a carry-on suitcase to put 
my souvenirs and other items and so I don't have to worry about packing a backpack throughout the whole airport. A carry-on bag is just going to be easier. I love the color of it. I actually pay a little bit extra just to have a color instead of like a black suitcase. So the first thing is the cookbook that I bought. It's Alaska from scratch. Of course I had to buy Hannah something and I know she likes hats and t-shirts. So I actually got a combination that was like already put together and it's um, hot pink, quite pretty. My dad was kind of hard to buy for because he doesn't wear hats or t-shirts or anything that the souvenir shops were full of. So I got him some coasters because he always uses coasters. I got a set of four. The first one just says Alaska. The second one is the bear trying to eat the salmon and it actually says Ketchikan, Alaska. Third one is the inside passage with just different icons of Alaska. Is another Ketchikan Alaska. I really like this one. It's really pretty. And for my mom, I got her a shirt. I did buy myself an apron, but I'm not going to show it to you until I do a cooking show with the apron and the cookbook. So it'll be a special Alaskan episode, and then you can see it. One other little thing I forgot to show was the dark chocolate grumpy bar. It's like dark chocolate. I got that from my dad. So it's not like anything he'll keep as a souvenir. It's just something cute.